Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to take a quick look at how you can use the Fastlist name servers to manage your domain name DNS. So to start I'm going to show you how to change a name server for a domain you have registered in your Fastlist account. So go to fastlist.co.uk, go to login and click on control panel login and just use your usual username and password. And from here go to your domain section I'm going to use uh, fhvideos.co.uk in this video, so if I click on that, and at the moment my name servers are not the fastest ones, so I'm going to click manage name servers, and I'm going to just click on default name servers, which is going to change them back to the default fastest ones, so click on that, and then click update name the server details. And that has just brought it back over to the fastest name servers. If your domain name is registered with another provider, you'll need to go to them to change these. And these are the name servers that you need to specify to use. So it's ns1, ns2, and ns3.livedns.co.uk. You only need to use two of those. So if your provider only supports two name servers, just use ns1 and ns2.livedns.co.uk. If they do support the third, you may as well have ns uk as well. Just bear in mind that when you change name servers it can take up to 72 hours for the DNS propagation to take effect so you might not see changes straight away. It doesn't usually take that long though, it's usually just a few hours in my experience but like I say it can take up to 72 hours. So if you want to actually check that these have taken effect what you can do is a who is look up on a domain so if we do just copy fhvideos.co.uk and we'll go to who.is for this one. There are plenty of other who is lookups you can use. So if we just do a look up on that. And once that lookup's complete, we can scroll down and see some of the information. And here we can see the name servers. And as you can see, they're showing us ns1.livedns.co.uk and the ns2 and ns3, which is what we've just changed it to. But again, this can be affected by DNS propagation, so don't worry too much if it hasn't happened as quickly as it's happened just there. Um, just make a note of the who is lookup made and when the information was updated. But like I say, it's a good indication um, or a good tool to use, I should say, if you've just changed your name servers and you want to see whether the changes you've made have actually made have actually taken effect. So yeah, just another useful tool for you. And that's all there is to it. So that's the end of this video. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.